Hey there! Welcome to my channel! Today, we're going to walk you through the installation of the Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111, a fantastic tool for automating repetitive tasks. Whether you're a beginner or new to this software, don't worry. We'll guide you step by step. This software will surely amaze you. This is an amazing software that can generate images from text. And the best part is that it's free. The installation process is not as challenging as we might think. Although it may appear different compared to other software installations, but if we follow the steps, we can easily install it. So, if you're a photography and digital art enthusiast, this software is perfect for you. However, before proceeding, we need to ensure that we have at least 70 GB of hard drive storage allocated for the software. Because as you continue to use this software, you will need to install numerous models and extensions, which is essential in producing a high-quality image that can occupy significant disk space. Additionally, it is recommended to have an NVIDIA graphics card with a minimum of 4GB of NVRAM for optimal performance. There are several ways to check your graphics card, and the method I frequently use is as follows. Hover your mouse over the taskbar, then right-click and choose Task Manager. Next, go to the Performance tab, scroll down, and right below, you will see the specifications of your graphics card in your system. Alternatively, you can use the Run Command dialog box by pressing the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard. This will open the Run Command dialog box. In the text box, type in DXDiag, which will open the DirectX Diagnostic tool window. Here you can view the specifications of your system, including the display, where the graphics card specs will be shown. So, let's get started. To install Stable Diffusion, we first need to install Python and Git. I can show you the website where you can see the step-by-step -step procedure. The link is in the description section below. Here we can see that the installation process is a bit long, but if we take a look, there are only four steps to install and run the software. So let's get started and follow these four steps. I'm sure that after these four steps, you will be able to run Stable Diffusion and generate your first image. First, let's download and install Python and Git on our PC. I have put the link to the download in the description section below. Let's install Python first. Be sure to check this box first that says Add Python to Path before you proceed. Simply click the Install Now option and wait for the installation to complete. Then hit Close. Now, let's install Git. You will see a lot of options while installing this, but simply follow the defaults by hitting the Next button until the installation is complete. Then uncheck the View Release Notes checkbox and click Finish. Ok, let's proceed now to the installation of Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. First, choose where you want to place the Stable Diffusion. You can place it anywhere on your PC. For this tutorial, I will place it right here on my desktop. I named it Stable Diffusion. Then open it. In the address bar, type CMD. It will automatically redirect you to the command prompt. Please go to the Stable Diffusion Installation Guide and locate the Step 3 section. Scroll down until you find this command. Then click on the small icon associated with the command to copy it. Return to the command prompt, press Ctrl-V on your keyboard to paste the command. Then press Enter. As you may have noticed, the Stable Diffusion Web UI folder has been automatically created within the folder we previously set up. 
This folder contains the necessary files and resources for the Stable Diffusions web interface. Now, let's navigate to this folder and locate the batch file named WebUAUser. Once you find it, simply double-click on this file to run Stable Diffusion. This process will take a bit longer. The speed of installation depends on your internet connection and computer specs. Here is the specs of my PC. Let's see how long it will take to complete the installation. If you notice that the installation progress may seem stuck, don't worry. It's still working. Just slowly. Be patient and it will finish eventually. I will pause here and be right back once the installation is complete. The installation is complete once you see this message and this local URL. It took 8 minutes on my PC. You may copy this URL and paste it to web browser address bar, then hit enter. This will launch Stable Diffusion Web UI. We are now ready to begin the testing phase or create our very first image. In the upper left corner, you'll find the Stable Diffusion checkpoint, which serves as the key tool for generating images. Simple press the arrow down icon here, and a list of checkpoint models will appear. Currently, we have one checkpoint available for selection. Down here, you will notice a collection of various tabs. At the very first tab, labeled Text to Image, we will input the description of the image we wish to generate. For the sake of simplicity in this tutorial, let's compose a simple prompt. Let's try. Face of a happy dog. It's now time to generate your first image. Click on the Generate button and sit back as Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 works its magic. Depending on the complexity of your prompt and your system's performance, this may take a moment. If you have successfully created your image, congratulations! You have successfully installed Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 and created your first image using AI. The possibilities with this software are limitless, allowing you to unleash your creativity in unimaginable ways. Now, let's make some modifications to the web UI user batch file. In the Stable Diffusion folder, let's locate the web UI user file. Right-click on it and select Edit. Now, we can add additional commands to this file. Over here, let's add this. Xformers is designed to reduce memory consumption and improve the performance of Stable Diffusion. Auto Launch enables the automatic launching of the web UI, eliminating the need to copy the local URL every time you start Stable Diffusion. Now, let me show you how to install an additional checkpoint model. Let's visit a website where you can find a variety of models to choose from. I have included the link in the description below. You will notice here that there is a checkpoint and Laura. Choose the checkpoint. Simply click on the model you wish to install and press the download button. In my next video, we will discuss further about the usage of checkpoints and Laura models. If you have already downloaded a model, all you need to do is copy or cut the file. Then navigate to the Stable Diffusion folder within the Stable Diffusion installation directory and paste the file there.
Now, let's relaunch Stable Diffusion and create a new image using the newly installed Checkpoint model. Now, we can utilize the Auto Launch feature to open the web UI automatically. You will also notice the message displayed here. Let's select our newly installed Checkpoint model and generate a new image using the same prompt we used before. You can now start using this powerful tool to create beautiful and realistic image. Thank you for watching! If you found this video helpful, please consider sharing it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content.